So, uh, good morning. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, so, uh, the subject of uh, this study is uh, the sizing and the performance analysis of waste heat recovery system for our heavy duty tax application. So uh, here is the, the situation uh, as it was in 2009 in terms of uh, CO2 emission. Uh, as you can see, uh, about 30% uh, of the CO2 emission comes from the transport sector and uh, heavy duty trucks are responsible of uh, a quarter of that, which means around uh, 6 or 7% of uh, the European uh, total emission. <coughs> Uh, on the other side, uh, the uh, European norms are becoming more and more restrictive, so the future norms that is coming in uh, 2014 is the Euro 6, and for that norm we have to reduce uh, the NOx about 80% uh, and the uh, particulate emission about 50%. Uh, uh, so, uh, manufact car, uh, truck manufacturers are uh, trying to reduce the fuel consumption and uh, a very pr promising sh uh, way to do that is to recover the waste heat. Uh, since uh, about 60% of uh, the total combustion energy is wasted uh, in heat. And more uh, particularly uh, in the exhaust gases, the engine coolant and uh, the charge air cooling. And uh, a way to do that is uh, by using uh, a thermodynamic cycle, such as the Rankin cycle. So to do that, uh, specific uh, research activities are required, especially to select and develop the component, uh, to identify the most appropriate architecture, and to achieve sustainable cost <laughs> and uh, uh, reliability. So uh, in the NOWES project, uh, the first task is the system definition. And this is done in, uh, in three steps. So the first step is to, is to develop model to, to size and compare the performance uh, of the different possi possible systems uh, in 0D. Uh, then to, to simulate the models, uh, the best, the, the most appropriate solution in a, in a 1D dynamic simulation. And finally, to define the overall system, uh, defining also the, the smaller components such as the pipes uh, and the bypass valves, etc. Uh, here, I will only focus on uh, the zero uh, modeling of the system. So, uh, the first task was to define the working condition on which uh, the system will be sized and uh, optimized. So, uh, by uh, working condition, I mean uh, the exhaust gas flow rate and temperature, uh, etc. the coolant uh, loop flow rate and temperature. And then uh, to develop model in order to compare different uh, architectures of Franken cycles that will differ uh, in terms of uh, heat source uh, on which we recover the heat, uh, working fluid and uh, expansion machine. So uh, there are several heat sources available on the truck. Uh, I already showed that the most of the heat was uh, in the exhaust gases and the, uh, the coolant, the engine coolant, and the charge, uh, the coolant of the charger cooler. <coughs> Uh, but the two uh, most appropriate, the two more inter interesting source are the exhaust gases and EGR gases because of their, their high temperature. <coughs> uh, and I also consider only these two sources to limit, it, to limit the, the, the complexity of uh, the packaging and, uh, in the truck. So using these two uh, heat sources, uh, I could compare three uh, architectures. So one using only the exhaust gases, and two using uh, both uh, the EGR gases and exhaust gases, one in once in serials, and in the second case in parallel. Uh, as, it as, as it has already been said, the major constraint uh, when designing a waste heat recovery system for a truck application is the heat rejection that is added to the cooling package. So uh, this heat has to be limited, especially when the condenser uh, of the Rankin system is located in the front end of uh, the truck. 
since it will increase uh, the air temperature going to the charger cooler and to the radiator of uh, the engine. Uh, there are, there are uh, possibilities to minimize the, uh, the impact of uh, the heat rejection on a truck, particularly uh, using uh, innovative heat exchanger integrated in the vehicle uh, body panels. So uh, the goal of this study was to uh, select uh, both a working fluid and expansion machine for the truck application. And here I limited the choice between uh, three expansion machine, uh, the scroll, the screw, and the piston expander, and the working fluid uh, to water, ethanol, and uh, air 5 fa So uh, regarding the working fluid selection, there are of course uh, several criteria to select the working fluid. There are the uh, environmental aspect, the physical properties, and the safety uh, aspect, but there, uh, in case of uh, a mobile application, there is also uh, a list called the Global Automotive Declarable Substance List that uh, lists the substance uh, we can use uh, in a car or truck application. <coughs> uh, regarding the expansion machine, I, begin, uh, I began my study by uh, drawing a state of the art of uh, the tree machine uh, a state of the art in terms of rotational speed, inlet temperature, uh, volume ratio, and pressure ratio. And the interesting figure here are uh, probably the, the high speed of uh, the screw expander that lead to a very compact machine, uh, the very low uh, inlet temperature, maximal inlet temperature of the scroll expander, and the high volume ratio of, uh, of uh, the piston expander. So uh, on the basics, on, the, on this limitation, I uh, modeled the tree expansion machine uh, using a semi-empirical model that re retain uh, the most important physical phenomena inherent to the machine, such as the pressure drop, the heat transfer, the leakage, and uh, in the case of the piston expander, the recompression of the clearance volume. Uh, then I calibrated this model these uh, different models on existing machine using experimental data to obtain a reference model. And uh, the goal was then to scale the different parameters to adapt the models to the machine I was designing uh, for the truck application. So uh, once uh, all the component of the system was uh, modeled, I could uh, compare uh, all the different architecture uh, and uh, to compare them, I optimized, uh, I used an, optimize, an optimization uh, strategy. So uh, the, two, the two last degree of freedom uh, I had in my model was uh, the evaporating pressure and the speed of the machine. So I optimized them to uh, maximize the net output power of uh, the different cycles. So uh, here are the different, uh, the an idea of the operating condition on which I design uh, the several systems in terms of mass flow rate and uh, temperature. <coughs> and regarding the results, so uh, three architectures, uh, three working fluid, and a uh, three expansion machine led to uh, 27 uh, different models. Here I only represented the best one for the different architecture. And we can see that uh, in that case, with a truck using an EGR, uh, an EGR, the best application would be uh, the couple uh, piston and ethanol. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, the goal of this study was to help designer to best select uh, the, 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 the expander and the working fluid. This selection is made together. Uh, it is here a preliminary, preliminary design, so it's a the first sizing of uh, the component. Uh, of course, uh, performance is not the only criteria, so uh, different criteria such as the weight uh, and the compactness the, of the machine uh, should be taken it into account. And uh, in the future, uh, we, are, uh, uh, we will try to, to focus on a mixture such as water and ethanol 
Uh, we are also investigating uh, turbines, and uh, we will develop uh, the we will uh, uh, develop the one D simulation model for the best solution. So uh, a longer driving cycle. Thank you. Uh, yes, of course, uh, the, the result will depend on the charge uh, of the engine. Uh, I didn't show the result here in part loop because uh, of the time I had, but uh, the, the conclusion are totally different for a less loaded engine operating point. So uh, in that case, uh, for uh, a low engine operating point, uh, L245FA should be uh, more appropriate because uh, of uh, the lower temperature of uh, the exhaust gases. Uh, it's about, that's why we, we want it, we want to go uh, into 1D simulation to, to make a, a, a better idea of the appropriate solution for the truck application. Which kind of a In that, in that model is just a pre preliminary design, so it's an isentropic efficiency that is fixed. Uh, it's fixed around 60% for the pump. Uh, for all the, the similar, for all the 27 models. But is a pump? Sorry? Is a GM pump a uh, pump that Yeah, so it's not, uh, uh, it's not fixed. So we, we, are, we have also to select the pump, but for now we are, we are, focused on, uh, we are focusing on the, on the expander and the working fluid. And uh, in the frame of the project, we, also have to, we will also have to, to, to define the pump we will use for, for the truck application. Thank you.